Bay. And credit where it's due to Kibb, even though he couldn't score in that uh, initial game that he had against Mills, you know, he only gave up two field goals. That defense was on point all afternoon. His, his defense was it was great, and you can see he's flipping through formations early. A young kid just to get the ball downfield at all. That's something he could not do in that initial game today. Held incredibly to nothing on the scoreboard. This guy had been averaging 25 points per game his last three. Quick release, and there is Samuels, a, a guy he never threw to in that game we saw earlier. Well, you're going to say never through two. I'm going to say he never came out a bunch. And his first two plays has been two different formations outside of gun bunch. So he took some time, probably ate that L, and was thinking, why didn't I just try another formation? Why didn't I try this, that? I have all this stuff. As you see, he's going to go back to gun bunch. But early, you can see he's changing things up. Got a little love for NC State here, using Torrey Holt and using Jalen Samuels. Got a second and two. In game three of the day, these are the two teams that are 0-1. Young Kiv and Sirius Mo. Sirius boogieing out of the pocket by RG3. And, you know, I heard a little bit of chatter, heard it actually from the user, that you look at RG3, compare him to Michael Vick right now, just doesn't seem like the same. Yeah, but I, I'm kind of like Kiv. I think he just wanted a right-handed quarterback. He, he likes to roll out to the right side for the most part, I believe, and just a left hand thrown across your body is not the best, but you got to look at defense. Look at these edge threats going to work for Sirius Mo. Bugs used RG3 yesterday, went 0-3, and there is a no-escape patch deal as Jadavian Clowney sits down on top of Robert Griffin III, and now it's fourth and six. Great defense by Mo. He actually brought heat. I was watching these boys on the ends, and then I see a corner coming off the screen. Like I said, we call it a bleacher bliss. That means we don't know where it's coming from because it's so far wide. And this is a win for Mo getting Young Kip to punt the ball to him. RG3 once rushed for 217 yards in a college game for Baylor. Unable to get away from Sirius Mo, who's going to have a serious chance now to take an early lead. And remember, he got down so quickly in that game against Drini. Seven seconds in, matter of fact, partner. He was down seven zip because of the pick six. <laughs> you literally can't start a game worse than what he did. I mean, the most frustrating thing is when you throw a pick six and you're, you're, the, and you're a defensive player because you think, I just want to see you on offense. But when you let someone else score on you without even touching the ball on offense, and it hurts being any kind of player, by the way, but definitely being a defensive player, it just kills you because he's not the best offensive player every year. You and I called Mills against Young Kiv, and in 20 minutes of Madden play, we saw six points. Our other broadcast team, in seven seconds, outscored what we did because, because of that pick six. And there was another pick six later in the game, too, because Dion took one in. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I just like Madden watching this stuff, but, man, that was a really exciting 6-0 to zero game, in my opinion. I just loved what I was seeing on both sides of the ball. Well, mainly on defense. Man, their defense looked really good. 33 total yards in that game of offense, and yet I completely agree with you. It was, it was a thrills for Mills at the end as he walked it off 6-0. Oh, man, you can see Mo's really trying to dissect this awesome run defense that Young Kiv showed. He's, he's flipping. He's resetting plays. He's just trying to get something to work on the ground and just doesn't look good right there. Gail Sayers, who Joke used yesterday to the tune of 343 yards against Volt, gets stood up right there. The Kansas Comet not doing much yet for Mo. And, and like I said, I know it's early. He's really just trying to find a run. Young Kiv's run defense, I mean, God bless. It was just so good the first game. He's just trying to find weakness. Looks like he might have, and no. No, because he ran right up the backside of one of his offensive linemen. And Gail Sayers, in, in real life, he used to say, Skimbo, just give me 18 inches of daylight. That's all I need. He had about, I don't know, maybe 50 inches of daylight there, but it closed up because he ran right up on to, to Gene Upshaw. Can't do that. Here comes the first pass down. But uh, Mo has shown that he will run the ball in third and ten. Ross is the guy coming across from right to left, going past the slot. And now running across the field, Aaron Rodgers trying to get it in there, but Taylor Mays with the pick. And Taylor Mays inside the 10. One of the great cards you can have right now in Madden is that strong safety, Taylor Mays. And there's another pick against Moe. 
That's, that's really just a bad pick, obviously, for so many reasons. Obviously, his guy was standing right there, but even if you catch the ball in traffic, it's fourth and five, and you're going to punt anyways. Why don't you just, you know, throw the ball away and just, you know, go punt the ball? Either way, that play wasn't going to work out. Mo has now been picked five times in five quarters today. And RG3 looking, threading it. Touchdown, Young Kim! <laughs> He never did no, get did. that done in the entire no. game. Oh, no, they're no. going to say no. dropped. You're right. Yeah, no. Yeah, uh, no. He, he dropped the ball in the back of the end zone. It looked like he had it for a while, but he just couldn't hang on. He could there, though. All right, how's that one then? How, how's John Ross? That's a little bit better with the fingers right there. <laughs> Samuels could not hang on. Let's give the touchdown to Ross. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just abilities, man. If you want to catch a ball in traffic, that streak specialist, he throws it up the seam, catches the ball, hangs on his running back. There are abilities if you want to make sure your running back catches those kind of balls out of the backfield. There are abilities you can put him on so he hangs on to the ball. So, you know, that just up your chance. So if there's a way to help yourself get a touchdown, that's what you need to do. And your Snickers and replay that set it up. Aaron Rodgers in the coverage. Just just not it just it just wasn't a good pass obviously you cannot give a guy like that young kid uh, the ball inside the 10 and then after the fumble by your friendly announcer the second time was the charm it was actually Ross that ended up with the touchdown catch and not Samuels but either way it is seven nothing for Kiv and point is he's now finally kind of Pop the cork uh, on the champagne, right? I mean, he's in the end zone. He's got some points and maybe now has that confidence back. And he's going to stop Gale Sayers here, too. In most Maddens, and I'll say it again, young kid probably feels the best when he's on offense. But when I see him having this kind of run defense and be able to shoot the gap, now we haven't seen Mo really drop back except pass once and it was a pick and it was everyone was just guarded. That's the thing about run defense. If you have a run defense that not only blows up every run, but if someone decides they're going to pass it and you can help bag the pass, you have, I mean, your defense is just unreal. Two good friends who lab together out of that 818 crew going head to head right here. Both of them desperate for a win. Gale Sayers not going anywhere against that great run D from Young Kim. Oh my gosh, this is a little rage, no huddle. It's early. It's still in the first quarter. He's going no huddle. You just he needs this first down bad if you're serious, Mo. Otherwise, to turn it over with a gift. Aaron Rodgers getting rid of it, needed it, got it to John Ross. Move those chains. Uh, if you're serious, Mo, just you can take a deep breath. That could, if he doesn't get that, he's in a really bad spot. He might try to catch him off guard, snap it at one, but probably will go into the second quarter. Both these guys spent 44% of their cap on offense, 54% on defense. Usually everybody gets 2% on a special teams. That's kind of standard issue. So in terms of roster construction, a lot of similarities here. Difference at quarterback, obviously. Aaron Rodgers on one side and a more mobile RG3 going the other way. Here is Rodgers. He's protected well, dumps it off to Engram, and Sirius Mo doesn't mind using those tight ends. We saw that in that game against Trini. Uh, he loves them. He loves these delay fades. It's a brand new feature in Madden 20 to put these tight ends on fade routes where they're blocking, they're blocking, then you can release them and they'll go right up the field for you. Gale Sayers trying to play bumper cars to get forward. And again, the guy that was always known as the Kansas Comet just has not been able to break free in the night sky quite yet, thanks to that run D of Young Kiv. I, I, I like how Mo, he hasn't done it till then. He, he passed on first down. You know, I watch, you know, if you watch football at home, you're like, why do we always run the ball on first down? Mo's finally mixing up the play call, or the play calling, catching Young Kiv off guard. And so far, it's looked a little better. John Ross is out wide. That's a great player to have, by the way, as Rogers surveys. Here comes the heat. He unloads, and that's going to be knocked out of bounds, fourth and three. It's just, like I said, not only does he have good run defense, everyone was guarded. I mean, that's one of the best concepts you can have. You get a motion slant, a post, and here's another big fourth down for Sirius Mo. He converted fourth and five to keep this drive alive earlier. Here's a fourth and three closer to midfield. Got to get it to his own 46. And again, looking to throw. Well protected. Oh. Finger! 
fingertip catch oh, on a low struggle. ball. That's the second <laughs> oh time that Ross God, has been able to bail Just him out. One lucky touchdown and try to fight him. Oh Stop my goodness, that him. was that was in the tightest window you could possibly fit a ball in, and he did. That that guy was pretty blanketed. But Mo on fourth down, you have no choice but to try to throw that in there because if you don't get it, it's a turnover. And it's funny because Kim's a guy that's got all these abilities on his John Ross, the cross specialist, the post specialist, streak specialist. Right there, that was just a little dump across to Ross. And that shoestring catch to keep it alive. Here's Sayers. Is so bad right now. I don't They'll know barge forward for a couple. And if you see Mo, young Kim displayed great run defense but I, in the first game. But the second game, I've seen about two or three runs that Mo on, on, on his normal day. He's probably maybe taking that to the house. He is missing holes right now. There you go. That one got swallowed up too, but he only needed a couple of yards. Uh, that's all you need. Like the last game with Kiv's run defense, he was tackling, tackling Jay Mills behind the line of scrimmage. If you're going against a run defense like this and you're getting four or five yards every carry, I don't know why you would even pass the ball because in this Madden, you'll take that. And in any Madden and in real life, you'll take four to five yards on the ground every time. Kiv, the Madden Bowl belt winner two years ago. Mo, the winner of this year's classic. And there's that classic elbow you down run defense again from Kiv. And I'll give some credit to Sirius Mo. When a lot of people kind of said, oh, he just armbarred in the first tournament when he won it. Yeah, he, he that was a main part of his offense, but this guy found the best run defense going to that tournament that no one had. No one knew how to stop the run except for him. He found the best run defense. He was well deserving of winning his second belt earlier this year. And here's a nice time-consuming drive downfield. Two fourth downs converted to the 37-yard line. Can he open it up a little bit here, Skimbo? Do you take one shot up over the top, or you just keep doing what you're doing? I think you just keep doing what you're doing. You just you, you want to get points. You want to just just know. You just want points right now. And get back on defense because I mean it's just you you can't turn the ball over again. Mo, who predicted 3-0 for himself here in this B group, has been outscored 35-13 so far, using Sayers to swerve forward. And a timeout will be called. Here's a big third and seven. Yeah, I like what I saw Mo did, Mo did there. He, he audible to a couple formations, felt like he had a run to the right. It was pretty good defense, but I like that he's trying to keep Young Kiv on his toes. Three belts have been won between these two men, good friends, young Kevin Sirius Mo. And past the two-minute warning, nearing halftime, Sayers couldn't get around Taylor Mays. We've heard young Kiv talk about how Taylor Mays has quickly become his favorite player on either side of the ball. Mo's going to have to take his three points here on a Justin Tucker field goal, which is good. Very safe and smart play calling for Mo. Didn't want to drop back and take a sack. Actually caught Young Kiv a little bit off guard with that dive. But his, like you said, his favorite guard, Taylor Mays, he came off a of block shed to make that play. Got the height, got the speed. I think just the perfect Madden player because he's tall and he hits. Can use room against the run. And we've seen him with picks yesterday and today. He's unbelievable. And here we go back with Kiv. You know, he's not, Mo is not playing defense like Jay Mills, which would send everyone. He would like to only send three or four and let these edge threats work. But I'm curious, if he saw the first game, he knows he needs to mix in some heat. Ladles it out. There's Torrey Holt with a nice little zigzag move. And Torrey Holt with 20 extra yards because of the stick work from Kim. Oh, perfect. Just a nice little cut right in front of his face. Just a nice five-yard out route that turned out to be about 25 to 30 yards. Still 1.15 to go before the half. RG3 into coverage, and Adrian Amos takes it away. Oh, oh, that's the big play that so Mo bad. needed. He got it. He's to midfield. What? I said the same thing right. yesterday oh, about this playmaker. It's like a timing me. route. Yeah. You just have to trust oh. it. However, sometimes it doesn't work out for you. Like right there, he had the playmaker left. He threw it. I'm not sure because I haven't used his ability too much. Maybe he threw it too early or maybe it was just a bad throw. But he had him. He just threw it behind and his linebacker made a play. The former Penn State great Adrian Amos. That's the play of the game for Mo, And at the very least, 
You, you figure here you're within seven to six, but you, you get greedy, I'm sure, right? You want your lead. You want your, you definitely want your lead, but you're also, I don't know if you feel lucky you got that stop because Kim had him open, but you'll always take a stop when you get a stop. And, and right here, I, I mean, I'm probably being safe if I'm serious about He's not an explosive player. He plays really smart. He's going to try to take this clock and get three. Using Gale Sayers just to churn forward for a couple. We're down under 50 seconds now. And Kibb, who's known for the, the offensive fireworks. I mean, he's got seven points total in a game and a half so far today. This Sayers this will maneuver near the 35. That's just how yeah, it is. And especially Skimbo. Yeah, um, but if you're Mo right here, I just don't think you should get gritty. He's letting that clock. He still has three timeouts. So a lot of people would have already called their timeouts, and, and even I might have called my timeouts if I was a runner only, but he's not calling them yet. But looking at a third and eight right now, won't really need all the timeouts at this point. 7-3 game close to the half. Will he settle for three, or can he somehow pop the lid and get six on to seven? Sayers with a sweep. That's a nifty little move right there. Eight seconds to go and a timeout taken. One shot to the end zone here. Uh, no, he's going to hand this ball off. Mo does not want to throw a pick. If he pops a run, that's great. I doubt we see the ball in the air. Oh, Remember, my. he's got timeout, so but what are you seeing? I see it. He's going to pass the ball. He just, uh, now he just audible to a run. We're seeing the play art, too. Oh man, I don't, I just, I, if I'm Mo, you're a smart, you're a safe player. I don't see the ball just going in the air. Oh. Sayers wrapped up, and this is looking very That's much like a 40 game. yard field goal at the halftime horn, right? Yeah, he should be able to hit it with ease. But I'm going to just say about Madden 20, as far as like you think running safe, how easy it is at times to be able to break off a run for a touchdown. In other years, that'd be sa a safe call. But in this Madden, a run at any time you've seen Bolt do it can turn, to a, a turn into a touchdown. Kib, who had a 6 nothing loss in his first game, is in a 7-6 game here in the follow-up. And don't forget, Drini and Mills are standing by. They're both 1-0 today. Trini won against Mills in the club challenge in a great game, 14-10. And here we go into the second half. Wow, Sirius Mo got a break there with a takeaway to get that second field goal. Back to within a point. And the guy with the serious lettuce right there is ahead of 7-6. to six. Make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account. Receive Twitch drops and for a chance to score a net 95 OVR Gronk. Always great to have Gronk on your squad. Just ask the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So check this out to get more drops from Twitch. And we appreciate you joining us here on Twitch, YouTube, streaming on ESPN. We're going to check out young Kiv, who has now moved ahead of Skimbo and ahead of Joke, playing in his 112th game already in MCS play. That's something. That's really impressive. Those names on that list, I, I'm not mine, but booze and joke. Yeah, I, w I almost want to go back to joke, not wanting a pelt to, to have th that many games played. And same with Boogs. But young Kiv, I mean, to have 112 all-time games played, that's 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 just a great accomplishment that accomplishment to have. Madden Bowl 18 was his belt, and he will face the Madden Bowl 19 winner in probably about now 45 minutes. Maybe an hour from now, it'll be Drini against Young Kiv in the game of the day. Maybe the game of the week. But those guys are such great rivals. This one working out pretty well so far for Kiv. He's up by a point, but it's Sirius Mo with the ball to start things out third quarter. Sirius Mo's in really good position right here. If you would have asked him if he would like to be down one at half, you know, with the ball, he would say, I'll take that any day of the week versus Kibb because he has a chance to put a drive together right, right there. Nine yards and a nice play. He's mixing it up on first down. I love to see that. And he was telling us when we talked to him, he might just come out and do the pass to set up the run thing. It's one thing when you run this particular playbook, that Raiders offense, considered pretty West Coast-ish. Maybe a few more run plays in there, but passing to set up the run as opposed to what you're used to. We've seen that in this game. And there's Sayers. He'll spin for that first down. 
Uh, yeah, he found a run play finally of that Taylor Mays that Young Kiv has been lurking on and having a great user. Finally got caught up in the line. I mean, listen, I heard T. Davis say this calling most game earlier. He said he's the freestyle god. It's looking like it. He's audibling the stuff, motioning stuff I haven't seen all year. He's just trying to find something that'll work. And right there, that was one of the better plays he's had today. Unpredictable, unorthodox. And a guy that has so much love throughout this Madden community, Sirius Mo, trying to bear down, get downfield, and overtake young Kiv here in the third quarter. And we finally try to pop one for John Ross. He's out wide right. Another handoff, and Sayers dragged down in the backfield. Ah, man, great play by Young Kiv, but if you know anything about how Madden works and if you're a runner, you see these holes that Mo, Mo knows he's missing. He was blocked. If he had a little better stick, he could have got more yards. I, I, it's just like it looks good that Kiv's has good run defense. The last game Young Kiv's run defense was unreal. This game, Mo has missed. He has missed holes that could have been big plays. Remember, he's got Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. It's an 86 Aaron Rodgers. He's got a 98 Gale Sayers, and that's why you hand it off to the Kansas Comet. And don't ask Aaron Rodgers to do that much. Another handoff, and Sayers squirming near the 40-yard line. But the first down make, remember, is closer to midfield. Yeah, I mean, I know Mo has shown that he'll run the ball in third and nine, but right here, I honestly believe this, he is going to pass. I, if I was a defensive player, I would set my defense up just a little. As you see, Mo's audibling for formations. He's thinking about passing how he's audibling for, through formations out of shotgun for the first time, I believe, all tournament. This will be a shotgun snap. And One thing i got to ask you, Skimbo, <laughs> and, and, and yeah. because already twice in this game, Mo has gone for it in his own territory on fourth down. So I'm just wondering if he needs all nine right here. I mean, if he gets to fourth and three, maybe he goes for it again. <laughs> That's a great point. As you see, great call. He runs the ball. Great play. You're right. This will be a fourth and manageable now. But here is another huge fourth down for Sirius Mo. Two for two converting in his own territory in this game already on fourth downs. And both times, it was Ross on the cross. Low passes both times. Both times, John Ross went down and picked it off his cleats. Yeah, but this is a dangerous game Mo's playing. You do not want to keep getting on fourth downs every drive. It's so hard to complete these fourth downs. Another, another huge fourth down for Sirius Mo. You don't get it. You turn it over in your own territory. It's a one-point game getting late in the third quarter. Rodgers getting hit. He's smoked. He's down. And Young Kiv with the biggest play of the day so far. The biggest play of the day and the perfect time to finally dial in a blitz. He's been running a lot of coverage versus these pass plays. And finally, he sent everyone and they got home. Turnover, Young Kiv up one with ball in a good position. He takes over essentially in field goal range, but that's not what he wanted right there. That's Jerome Baker who drives him back three yards. So now it's not field goal range. No, and it's not. And I'm not going to act perfect because I've had a problem like this this year, just taking bad sacks, trying to make the play happen. And, and Kiv, understand, he's going to try and take something underneath. Hello. Got it. Torrey Holt, user playmaker. He can move those chains again. Yeah, I mean, Mo, Mo wants a pick there with Troy P. However, his Troy P was just a little just a little bit out of position. But that's 100% that's of his lurk. And now he's in field goal range. I just I don't feel like Kiv's going to do anything stupid. However, he's a passer. And in this Madden, things can go wrong really quick. RG3 up the middle. RG3 is going to slide down past the 20-yard line. Ooh, Mo's upset, and this, this is definitely going to go into the fourth quarter. How about a little more water there, Kiv? We get to the fourth quarter. And hydration, fourth that's quarter. actually not a bad idea. Looks like young Kiv might need a bathroom break, though, after all of that water. Wow. Going to be a second and one as we get into the fourth quarter. And let's just keep this in mind. As Kiv just chews the gum looking like a cool customer. He has scored seven points total in two games, Skimbo. Yet he could end up one and one. He could. And, you know, it's just, it's just crazy to even think that he only has seven points in two games.
Because we're talking about a guy that we've talked about, usually gets you 20, if not 25, if not 30, 27 MCS games this year, and only once has he been held to under 10 points. Mo did that to him. That's the only time. It was a 22 to 7 win for Mo. All right, so there's the seven for young Kiv. The question is, can Mo get above the six now as we get set for that fourth quarter? So as we get. Oh no 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 pressure. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. And nobody smoother than that guy, rocking the black turtleneck. And uh, quite the other thing, I guess, sartorially on the other side for Sirius Mo, if I can mangle a word. I mean, Mo just kind of all rumpled and ready, just kind of rolled out of bed. I don't know if you've seen uh, Talladega Nights lately, but it's kind of Ricky Bobby against Jean Girard when it comes to how they're dressed here right now. <laughs> and it's going to be a great fourth quarter partner, a 7 6 score with the well-dressed man on top by one. Yeah, I mean, this is what I see right now. If you're at home and you're wondering, like, why can't I pass this year? Just know, Young Kid is one of the best passers every year. And the fact that he's struggling, just don't be discouraged if you've struggled this year passing the ball because he's one of the best in the world and he has struggled today so far. Kellen Winslow, the tight end, gets found. And that's a big first down. So. If you just kick the field goal, right? I mean, now Moe's got to get down and get that touchdown. The only thing Kiv can't do here is take a series of ridiculous sacks or turn the ball over. If you're if you're Kiv, I mean, you just honestly, I feel like I've been just saying it all tournament. Just don't do anything stupid. You got to know how the game's being played. You might hand the ball off three times. I mean, you, if you throw the ball, he better be wide open. There's nothing that can be in traffic. Because if you can go up more than a field goal and go up four points, that, that, that feels like game's just about over how, you know, Sirius Mo has moved the ball. Three tight ends on the field, one of them with a carry. That's out of the, the playbook from Pavin yesterday. Use Kellen Winslow, who's 6'5", 251, as a running back just to barge forward. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see that Winslow a lot more throughout this tournament and tight ends. But like I said, here, here comes Young Kiv. You, you're, he's going to pass the ball. You know, he's looking for something. Mo, this is the time to really get a big stop. It's just Young Kiv's going to be looking for this curl route concept on the right side. Let's, let's just see how it works out. Oh, he flipped it. He's got that. Yeah, he's got that lurker on Palomalo, remember. Troy P is the must-have. Can he make a play for Sirius oh Mo? God, Diving oh catch god. instead. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, Mo saying he has lurker, but man, if he wants that animation, he is really asking. I know he was on it. He just was there just a little late. And again, if I'm young kid, you better be sure. Because that was a little too close for me. You better be sure if you're passing the ball, you better not throw a ball in traffic. Because it just, I honestly, I do feel like if he gets three here, the game's just about over. If you're Mo, you just have to keep lurking with that Troy P and just hope Young Kid makes a mistake for you. He's got Troy P that he can animate from the linebacker spot. It means he can jump up real high for the ball. That's the advantage there. Of course, he's got that 99 speed, too. And it's just a, such an important card to have if you can afford it. That Troy Palomalu. RG3 in trouble. He gets decked. In the biggest, the biggest time. That was the biggest play of the game so far. Serious most edge threat activated. Got right in there. Took down RG3. I'll say this. Even though Mo has only six points, has to look the best. I have noticed he has found a couple runs that has had life if he had better stick work. So if you're a serious Mo fan thinking, I don't know if he can move the ball, I'm telling you right now, there is a chance he can move the ball because there has been opportunities and he knows he has missed them. Kiv doesn't have to kick this field goal until there's going to be about 212 or even 211 on the clock. And he bangs it right on through. So there you go, 10 to 6, three timeouts. The two-minute warning, and a field goal does Mo no good. He needs the touchdown to get his first win of the day. Uh, and I'll say it again, if you've kept up with competitive Madden at all, if there's one guy you want to try to put together a last drive as bad as he has looked, you know, first game, second game, doesn't matter all year, 
And if there's honestly one guy you want to put some money on to, you know, finish a drive, a guap drive for your bread, you want serious Mo with the ball. And listen to Skimbo because the first ever belt that was awarded, that was a 27-24 comeback on my boy. As indeed, Sirius Mo found a way at the very end of that game. I didn't mean to bring that up. It just kind of, you know, it's on a platter. So I, I had to, to get it served. Come on. <laughs> oh, and Sayers goes backwards. That, that run defense, I'm telling you, it's going to carry young Kiv. It just may carry him to a win. Uh, it's that run defense that he's been in the lab. He said he's lab for so much. You might have not have thought it versus Jay Mills with his offense, but man, can you not tell about it for his defense? His run defense, his defense all around has looked probably the best in the tournament as far as stopping the run. Sirius Mo told us a couple days ago, it's the toughest group I have ever seen in MCS. Madden Bowl 20, Group B. Welcome to it, Sirius Mo. He predicted he'd find a way to get to 3-0, and but right now, Skimbo, he's staring down the barrel of 0-2. Yeah, and like I said, I tried to call it earlier. He's finally, I think, going to shotgun. He's just given up on the run. He feels he's, he's, he's given Young Kiv his respect. He understands if I'm going to beat him, I'm going to have to throw the ball or maybe call it shotgun run. Just he's got to mix up some. The under center runs have not worked for him. Kiv is not allowed a touchdown today. He's played two games. We are at the two-minute warning. Oh. And if he one more time can keep him out of the end zone now, it's going to be one and one for Kiv and 0 and 2 for Mo. Yeah, Mo just called a terrible timeout. I mean, I guess he didn't want to take a delay again and have second and 18, but you want all those timeouts, and that was out of the two-minute warning, too. You can't burn a timeout in that position. I understand why he did it, but it's just, it's just so costly. Something you really never see, and such a high IQ player like Sirius Mo. There is a handoff coming out of all that, trying to juke his way forward, but just has not been able to get anything in gear with that great Gale Sayers card because young Kiv's run D is phenomenal. It is, and, and you know, if you're serious, Mo, he's, he spent cap, you know. He spent cap on this tight end and his wide receiver, and he hasn't thrown the ball that much, you know. To spend that much cap and you're not using it, at times you're thinking, should I just have no quarterback like Jay Mills and Volt and Joe? But right here, he has to use those wide receivers with those abilities he has on them. Can Rodgers find one of the greats? No, sir. Down he goes. It's fourth and forever. And this is the ball game coming up now. Moe's got to convert a fourth and 20. And, and he's in that timeout killed him. Maybe he could have punted the ball. Probably not. But it would have gave himself a chance. But if you don't get it here, it is 99% chance that this game's over. He has to convert this fourth and 20, and I have no idea what route concepts he's going to use, but somehow, some way, he's got to get this done. Carlos Dunlap with that last sack, the 6'6", 290-pound monster. Now, let's see if Kiv brings him on in again. Aaron Rodgers on fourth and 20 for Mo. About 45 seconds left here. And a timeout taken. This is something. I mean, here's young Kiv, known for his offensive fireworks, and he is not allowed a touchdown yet in two games today. I know. It's, it's been unbelievable. And I will say at home, I criticized Mo for his first timeout. For that second timeout, that's smart. This is the biggest play of the game. He was rushing. You know, you can't take that other, those other timeouts with you after that because it's over if you get stopped. Good timeout. Mo's just going to look for some kind of smart, right, smart route, in route, or post route at the first down marker. Does get a block here. Rodgers in a coverage. And Ross twisting. He is right near it. He, wow, I mean, that is so close to that yellow stripe. At the 35-yard line. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't get it. I mean, you know, he was there. He almost, he was about a yard away. It was, you know, it's just, this is pretty much game over. It just depends now if young Kib wants to get more points for point differential or is he satisfied with what he has and he'll just go and end the game. I mean, it was a great catch in traffic and we're continually a little bit surprised that there hasn't been more for Ross or Marquise Brown. We haven't called Brown's name all day. Josh Cribbs out there. It was a terrific pass but a yard short. It wasn't, and I'm gonna say it, man, I've been in part of group say so as young Kiv, and I know how much point differential matters, but I wanna say this, if he gets this block for six, he's gonna be freaking sick because Mo wins this game. 
Got a Humphrey oh, coming There's off no the chance. side. That's there's no chance, uh, Josh. If you hit that that meter right there where it's perfect, there's absolutely no chance that's getting blocked. And the clock runs out right at triple zeros. That's perfectly played at every turn. Young Kim takes 